Hello, welcome to episode 372 of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game. On this episode of the show I play Panama Joe. I tried playing Panama Joe without remapping the keys, but it was too hard. So I remapped the keys D for left, F for right, J for down, and K for up, space R for jump. And when I did that Panama Joe was a lot easier to play. Remapping the keys did not help me get very far in the game. And I also watched a walkthrough of the game. That walkthrough only lasted a little over 10 minutes. So Panama Joe is a game I could beat on the show. The game reminds me of Manic Miner. I enjoyed playing Panama Joe. Unfortunately I could not get over one jump. So the game ended quickly for me. I don't have anything more I want to say about the game so what else am I going to talk about? It's been over three episodes of the show. Even though not many people watch it, and probably after a year with so few viewers I probably should call it a day for the show and figure out some other way to spend my valuable time. But, I won't do that. I want to keep going for as long as I can. And maybe I could call it a day for making music, since I have been making music for four years and not many people have listened to my songs. But, I figure that it will take years to get good at writing songs and years for people to find my songs. Maybe I could consider it good if I am making this show and making songs and enjoying doing those things. At least now I know I can make this show and also make songs. What I don't know if I can get people to watch or listen. Enough about my failures. What else can I talk about? I read a science alert article about diet foraging bees. I had forgotten that some bees feed at diet. Anyway if I remember right it said that scientists found differences in the way night time feeding bees and daytime feeding bees look. So they will be able to tell if a bee feeds at night or not by the features it has. So they don't have to go out at night and observe bees at night. So cool. If I ever get good at Python I want to work on programs about bees. I have looked at several repositories on GitHub that have to do with bees. One is an artificial hive program. So that is a reason for me to read more code. I wonder if one day if I will raise honey bees. I think it would also be great if I could raise stingless honeybees, and while I'm at it why not raise Japanese honeybees? I don't know if I would be able to raise stingless bees or Japanese honeybees in the country where I live. Bees are so cool. I'm glad I took the time to learn about them. I'm obsessed with bees. I want to learn more about native bees. What else do I have to say about bees? Oh, yes I read a bee culture article said Beyonce has two beehives, and she gets hundreds of bottles of honey a year. How cool is that? In case you have not heard of Aeons, she is a musician. And she is famous. Thanks for watching.